Hey guys, in this video we are going to be adding buttons inside our text field and when the user click on it we want it to do something. So we are going to be uh, running, uh, no, writing codes for that as well. Okay, so I have my usual blank new app.js and what I'm going to do first is going to create a window. So tie.ui.create window and background color oops color is going to be the usual white FFF, FFF, FFF. it doesn't matter if it's FFF, FFF or just FFF but I prefer to write all six of them okay the first thing we want to do is just create a simple text field well text field equals uh, tie.ui.create uh, text field and inside here the top is going to be it's going to uh, how else it should it be? I think it should be, I don't know, let's call it just 25%. Height is going to be about 35. Width is going to be about 300. Width is usually 300. Uh, the border style is going to be tie.ui. Uh, input, input underscore border style underscore rounded and the hint text is going to be that's optional but uh i don't know type type in here something like that and the keyboard type is going to be the default uh, tie.ui dot keyboard underscore default and that's it for now okay so now what we need to do is add uh, buttons or create buttons using the tie.ui.create buttons. Uh, in this video we are going to be adding two buttons. We are going to be creating a clear button on the left to clear anything in our text field to start again and a submit button to submit our uh, entered text either uh, your email address or your login details or whatever. So uh, let's create a button. So var uh, clear button equals tie.ui dot uh, create button the variable name doesn't have to doesn't have to be clear button it could be anything just like my uh, text field variable can't be anything but uh, when I'm creating apps or using uh, variables I prefer to keep the name uh, the same or something related to the what do you call it the object or whatever I'm using the variable for so when I go back to it it's actually pretty uh, easy to see and self-explanatory if I have a really big app I could just go to the outline over here and then I could see what variable I've created and if I look at this oh I created a button which will say clear and does the function to clear a text field or something and so on so the title is going to be uh, clear the height is going to be about 25 and the width is going to be about 55 pixels somewhere around the lines and we are going to be creating a similar one called submit equals tie.ui dot uh, create button and then the title is going to be submit uh, the height is going to be 25 and the width is going to be it's a bit bigger than clear so let's make it 60 the number of words is bigger than uh, clear so I don't want it to be like a too small button okay so uh, what we need to do now is come back to our uh, create text field so our text field variable variable my, my tongue isn't uh, functioning properly today and then we are going to be adding uh, the two buttons so we are going to use the property left button is when we're going to say it's going to be the clear button and similar similarly similarly the right button button is going to be the submit button and I don't know why I used the semicolon over there but make sure you use the commas and not the semicolon okay and what we're going to do is uh, create the event listener for our clear button and our submit button. Sorry. Clear button and our submit button. 
maybe I should speak more slowly but then the video is going to be really long so I don't think that's an option okay so we're going to be creating our clear button dot add event listener and oops, the callback function or what we're going to be listening to is the click and the callback function is going to be e function e okay so uh, when we click on the clear button we want the text fields text field with a big f dot value to be empty so just like that okay that's it and the submit button dot add event listener uh, click same and function e and inside that we are going to be creating an, an if statement so uh, say for example there's going to be two uh, two options not two options uh, two uh, I don't know situations if that's the right word basically the user might the user is going to be click a submit when the text field is empty and the user is going to click submit when text field has something inside now we want the user to only click submit and submit something one when the user has actually typed something in so we're going to check if the text fields value is empty or not and if it is value if it is uh, empty we want them we want to alert the user to enter some text okay so we are going to be creating an if statement like so and then say uh, text field dot value equals uh, hmm like that uh, and then what we want to do is say alert enter or please enter some text yep else that means that we the user has wrote something so we are going to alert them the text field dot value so if the user didn't write anything so if the text field value is equal to nothing so it's like in the, it's like the it's like right after they have clicked clear there's nothing inside we want to alert them saying please enter some text and if not that means if there's something inside we want to alert them saying that or we want to alert them with a message exactly the same as what they typed in so text field value and don't forget the semicolon at the end over here okay once that done uh, I, just like in my previous video when I talked about it we want to quickly write an event listener for our window uh, to uh, when we click somewhere outside the text field we want the focus to go off from the text field and the keyboard to height so we're going to do win dot add oops, add event listener and it's going to be a click and fun E. Inside here we are going to be typing text field dot blur and that's it. Okay, so the last thing we are going to be doing is adding the text field into the window and opening the window like so. So I'm going to save my app.js and run the iPhone simulator okay here's our app uh, now I had one uh, miss I had one error before uh, I successfully loaded my app which I corrected uh, off camera and that was basically in here the window advent listener I accidentally wrote I accidentally wrote text field dot blue not blur which was screwing up my app okay so I fixed that and now the app the app has been loaded so I click on here and it's going to give me my default say hello and if I click submit it's going to say alert hello which is exactly what I wrote now if I click clear it's going to clear anything everything and if I click submit again it's going to say please enter some text because the text field is empty now if I click somewhere else apart from the text field it's going to hide away the keyboard and lose focus on the text field so it is a pretty neat uh, small app 
uh, it's really useful if you are, I don't know, creating a login register system, if you want user feedback, I don't know, say like title, name, email, uh, please give us feedback or rate this app or whatever. Yeah, text fields are really useful and it's really, it's quite useful to have uh, buttons inside the text field because the user can easily see that the button is specifically for specifically for this text field. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.